Hey, welcome back to a new playthrough of MechWarrior 5 Modded. We have added a bunch of different mods, all from um, yet another mech lab. I did the entire suite. I think I left off some of the pirate weapons, and most of the settings are left on default, so I didn't add a bunch of things. I may go back and tweak some things, depending on how the playthrough goes. We're starting in the Karita territory, which is something completely different for me. Normally I run um, Steiner or Davian, but I decided to do something a little different, so uh, I don't know a whole lot about the mods. I haven't watched a whole lot of videos where people are using them, so this will be a new experience for me. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and see what we've got available. This is just the usual stuff that we're used to seeing. And we start off with some pretty crummy mechs, but they're, uh, they're lights, that's okay. And we got three million C bills, so we're gonna make these guys work. Now, I am not used to the mech lab having all this stuff. Uh, last time I played MechWare Online that has some of these features was probably at least a year ago. Um, I didn't play much, and I really didn't play a whole lot after they introduced a lot of the newer weapons, such as like, um, you know, medium rifles and all that kind of stuff. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm not super knowledgeable on what things do. I'll figure it out pretty quick, but uh, you'll have to just kind of bear with me at the beginning. All right, so what can we do with this guy? In fact, first off, who, who are we gonna run? Are we gonna be the Panther? Do we wanna be a Locust? Uh, I kind of like the Panther's PPC, but a Jenner, you know, SRM Jenner with a couple lasers is not bad so maybe we'll go with the Jenner at least for this first mission I don't even know what mission we're doing yet I want to take a look okay so we have so much more that we can do now it, uh, to be honest it's a little overwhelming all right so we've got some lasers I don't think we're gonna have we really don't have anything that we can add uh, armor would be nice though I feel like we have like no armor um, do we want to change out? I think I'd like to drop a couple jump jets and get some armor. And I'm definitely going to move the SRM ammo to the foot area. Or at least down here. And let's see. Our engine's fine. I don't think I want to mess with the engine right this second. So let's look at... We've only got an SRM-4. We still have three jump jets. That should be plenty. So what can we do for maxing up the armor? All right, you're un unbalanced. We gotta get this fixed. Uh, 15. There's one point there. Boy, this thing is weak, but it is what it is. Okay, so we'll just have to do the best we can, right? I mean, we don't really have uh, much we can do. We'll wait on the six days. Uh, the Panther. So I guess for now, everybody's gonna get. I guess we'll repair him. But, I mean, we're going to basically start with this stuff. We don't have the money to do much else. Now, is this the default scheme? I don't think it is. I'm going to go check. Ooh, we got a bunch of different ones. Like, we can be the outlaws. Who do we... Oh, the tartan. That's kind of cool. Tiger. I don't remember some of these. These must be new. Okay, well, we're going to be running... Oh, there's the hero. That's cool. I wonder... Black Inferno. Hmm. They should still have the factions. There's... Okay, so there's one. There's Karita. So that... Is that the real... Is that really the red? I feel like that's not the right red color. Is there a way to reset it? Okay, so that is what Karita looks like. I don't really like... I like the Kelhounds. That the Kelhounds, that's kind of cool, actually. Maybe we'll go with the Kelhounds. We'll just do that. Apply all. Yeah, select all and then apply. Okay, sure. It's been a while since we started a playthrough. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All it needs is a Canadian flag and then uh, I think it would match that. Although I don't live in Canada. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the star map and see what, what new things are available for us. All right, we are here, and I did see in the mech market, just because we're here already, there was a few things. 
I do have salvage turned on so we can salvage parts and build mechs, which is really cool. I love all the extra information, but again, it's kind of overwhelming for me. I'm not used to seeing it all in the game, so that's going to take a little time for me to get used to it. So please don't be shouting in the comments for me to do a bunch of different things. I will get to those. Um, I'm fine with suggestions, but just bear in mind, this is my first time with the mod, so it's going to take me a little bit, probably a couple episodes to kind of get, you know, in the swing of things. All right, I don't think we're going to buy anything. We can't afford it anyway, so we might as well just take a look and see what map or what mission we can do. I don't think there's anything in the equipment that's really jumping out at me either. Sniper cannon. Ooh. Yeah, see, there's going to be a lot of cool new weapons that I've never messed with. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I don't have them set to unlock automatically, so they will unlock as the the time period passes that they're supposed to unlock. All right, so we're here in Karita territory. I do know that we do have a transmission. Uh, oh, we got to get to Rep 4 before we can, can do much with him. That's fine. And really, it doesn't matter where we go. We haven't been anywhere before. Here's our closest battlefield. Um, you know, you'll notice there's no factions or anything really, no merc groups yet. That's all in time. So I guess we're going to go to defense in a war zone. Let's do a war zone. That's my favorite kind of contract. Although, you know, it may not be so favorite with what we're in. And I can leave a list of the mods if you want to see which mods I'm running and which ones I'm not in the description of this video. So uh, make sure to check that out and you can see kind of what I'm doing. I'm just mostly doing yet another mech lab and all the basically the suite for that. Okay, so what missions we got here? Yeah, we, we know how the missions work. Uh, see, we could do a defense as a 9 and a counterattack war zone as an 8. Our tonnage limit's very low, but we are in small mechs and we can't really do much, so... You know, maybe we take a little bit of salvage. Maybe we can luck out with something. That's my hope, at least. Okay, so we're doing the whole group and we don't even have enough to fill the tonnage, so... First thing, first we gotta get rid of the Locust and the Spider if we can help it. The Panther's probably my best mech, followed by the Jenner. Uh, but none of them have armor at all. They're very, very weak, so it is what it is. Let's see what we can do. This might be a very quick mission. As in, we die very quickly. Try to help your allies. We can do that. This will be interesting because of the speed our mechs have. We are so much faster than normal. Did an entire playthrough of basically heavies. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. New Got our first enemy. We're on it, yep, can't sit here and play with him. We gotta be careful. I am not used to playing as a light. It's been a long time. Alright, running. Oh, yes, yeah, see, I've already taken a lot of damage on the uh, torso there. We've taken a lot of damage. No. Get him. Wow. What am I getting hit by? Someone got punched too. All right, he's gone. Took out the vehicle. How are we doing? That's two of two. I'm already red. Okay. How are we doing? Yeah, the whole team. We've got. Nazari, Ito, and Abara. We'll have to get acquainted with them uh, after the mission. Commander, you've got the Ops Force's attention. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. I'm get back out here. I don't want to be stuck inside there in this kind of mag. Uh, let's see. There we go. 
think I would rather play in the Panther. I think next mission I might. I feel like I gotta get too close with these medium lasers. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm not good in lights. The only light that I play a lot of was the fire starter on MechWarrior Online. And, well, I take that back. You know, back in the, I'm trying to think which game it was. One of the games I played as the fire moth a lot. It was one of the starter mechs. Ow. Oh, kill him. There we go. There's one. And I'm... Oh, I'm already crit. Yeah, this might be a very bad mission. I'm going to have to send my team out. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. You forget how difficult it is at the beginning of the game. Plus, we don't have very much tonnage. New target, Vindicator. Oh, and a Vindicator? That is not a good starting mech to fight against. That's a medium. We need to... The first thing we got to do is we got to get a different engine or at least different armor. I need lighter armor so that I can put more of it on. I mean, if we lose a, a torso, we're pretty much hosed anyway. All right, so we got a good hit on him. I'm going to run away. He seems to be coming after me for some reason. I wonder why. Running gun. Yeah, yeah, the missiles don't do a whole heck of a lot. Come on, Panther. Punching him is not the smart thing to do. Nicely done, guys. Okay, yeah, we want more vehicles. Let's kill the VTOL. VTOLs aren't bad. We can handle VTOLs. It's the medium mechs that I don't want to fight. Starting out in the game, even on vanilla, is relatively hard. Um, you just don't get much to start with. All right, looking good though. I'm so much lower to the ground too. That's that's a very odd feeling. Okay, SRM carrier. Yeah, I never thought we'd have to say those were difficult. SRM-40, though, could actually melt me since I'm running in a Jenner. I thought about playing a different faction that had a better mech, but I thought, no, I always play as those. I wanted to play something different. So we're the dragon now. There's one. What we got? Did we kill both? Oh, we did. Okay. I guess we'll just wait here for them to show up and see what they are. I've also got a brand new mic. Um, I have two mics right now. When I was using a newer one, I'm running a pod mic now uh, that I can put in the description if anybody's interested in seeing what it's like. Uh, I think it sounds really good. I'm still kind of getting it fine-tuned, so if my voice doesn't sound quite right, that would be why. Uh, I'm still kind of getting used to it. But I have a second mic because I was planning to do some recordings. We have started a new channel uh, for my kids that we've called Mecha Drew Kids, and they are uh, basically playing more kid-friendly games, stuff that they like to watch. I'm I'm on there commentating and playing with them, but basically games that you know they can't watch my channel for the most part. They're younger. Okay, so we lost a mech already. Our locust was taken down, which is not a good way to start. A baro got killed. I don't know if they're actually dead or not. Depends on if they hit him in the head. If they hit him in the co the uh, core, I think there's a 50% chance. But if they hit him in the head, they're dead. So that stinks. Question is, do we go for the money? I feel like we need to. At least uh, these easy money opportunities. I mean, we just lost the Locust. We're going to have to... We're going to have to spend some money. we got to watch this guy. There we go. All right, well, that earned a tiny little money. We're not going to get enough to really do much. But yeah, I've got a new kids channel, so uh, if you haven't seen it, it's in my... Um, you go into my videos and stuff and look at the bottom, I have it linked to some other channels that 
are either my kids or I'm friends with, and uh, you can see them there. They're mostly there to play games that they can't, you know, that I wouldn't play on my channel. And, you know, they can't see a lot of the games that I do, so... I, I wanted to give them a place where they can do stuff. They enjoy recording themselves. Okay, so this is new. I'm not used to getting all these parts. So we lost our Locust. That's a problem. Let's see, there's a Flea, Locust, Vindicator. The Vindicator parts would be nice. Unfortunately, we can't take them. We could take some Jenner parts. I mean, another Jenner wouldn't be a big deal. I think that would be nice. Take one... And then, I don't know, what do we want to take? We have nothing, so we might as well take something, I don't know, maybe medium laser. Take a couple of those. Alright, so... Were they killed? I don't think they were. They're injured, but they're not dead. Woohoo, alright. But total damages is way more than what we made, so that's a problem. So, that, yeah, we're going to have a hard time with this, I think. <laughs> okay, well, I need to repair. Uh, let's just do repair mech. And, well, should we move? We should probably jump off of here. There's a rare mech there. Let's go to Constance. We don't have to do this. It does cost us a little bit to travel, but I just want to make sure that, you know, we're okay. I don't want to burn too much money. And honestly, hiring a new pilot would be nice. Uh, we need people who are better than what we've got. And we don't even have... Do we even have enough right now? We just have the four. So with one person out, we can't even pilot something. So we have to get someone. So I think for now... Uh, do we want Couture? Or do we want Trevino? Or Bowles? Or Forbes? I think we go with the person... Yeah, I think we're going to go with you. Although, actually, the person... None of their stats are good. Alright, you're a stepping stone. We're going to hire you for now. Sure. And we really... How much is that going to cost to repair this? We may have to roll without this one for the next mission, depending on what it is. Because that thing got wasted. We lost a medium laser. Alright, so we repaired all. How much is that going to... Okay, so that cost us a good chunk. Oh, an engine was destroyed and we don't have an engine for it. That's a problem. See, this is something new to the mod that I'm going to have to get used to. We need to start looking at... Engine cores. We don't have any. <laughs> uh, what did it have before? I don't even know. Not off the top of my head, at least. Uh, can we go to details? Yeah, you had okay. You had a one sixty, so that would cost us a lot of money. Is it worth putting it back in, or do I sell it and go for something in the mech market? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so we could do an assassin, another locust, panther. You know, this panther would probably be worth it. It's damaged or an herby mech. I don't know if an herby would be really the right choice. This definitely puts you in a kind of a bind at the beginning. I mean, if I was in a better mech, I could probably solo some of this stuff, but I'm definitely not. I think, though, I am going to take the Panther in this time. Got to repair everybody, too. All right, spider, Spider's good. I don't know. Maybe we run without the Locust for a while? I don't want to have to spend all that money on the engine. I mean, we're, we're kind of low already. So I think we'll do that. I think we'll just leave... Because if I were to sell him, I don't think we'd get much. Is that is that okay? Is that at the top? Does that mean how much it's worth if I sold it? So if I went sell, yeah, okay. So that's how much it's worth. Eh, not great. All right, so we're gonna leave him as is right now. Let's find another mission. I don't think they get a whole lot easier than what we just went through. There is a defense contract. How hard are these? Have mercy, we are a fledgling company. Uh, objective raid. You know, objective raids aren't too bad. Oh, that's in Rosalhe. <laughs> uh, I didn't think we'd be going there so soon. Uh, we could go last frontier. Let's see what this is like over here. 
think we'll go there as we eat through our money. But everything will be repaired except for the locust. The locust is is not amazing anyway. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna owe a little bit of money, but not much. Let's see what we can do while we're here. What kind of contract we got? Pillage. It's an 18. I feel like with what we have, 18's probably out of our range right now. So I think I think I want to go back over here. What the subjective raid? We'll try that one. It's not that I think it's too difficult. I just don't think we have enough armor. I think we'll get killed if we try to go too hard. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, now on 11, I think we could handle. That's fine. I want to look at the black market, though, since we're here. We might as well see if there's any kind of uh, anything. And there's so much to look through now compared to what before. Yeah, armor primitive. Yeah, see, I got to have to learn how to use all the different types of armor. Battle fist, cockpit primitive. Weighs five tons instead of three. Lacks an ejection seat. Ouch. So do we do we already have that kind of thing in our mechs? Do our mechs have... Like, if I look at my Jenner, does it already have some of that kind of stuff? Armor standard. Structure standard. Engines. So what do I do to put that in? Oh, cockpit standard. So if I were to buy that and replace it, is that just ways of changing things around? I really don't know. I'm going to really have to look into this some more. Okay, so we're going to run with the three mechs, I guess. Or do I spend the money and hope for the best? It's going to cost me about a million sea bills to fix this thing. How much would it cost me to buy one? Did I just buy one? Ah, oh, way more. Okay, so all we can do is hope for salvaging with the three mechs we got. And hope everybody survives the mission. So, I guess that's what we're going to go with. It's a uh, raid. Raids aren't bad. Do we want money or parts? I feel like money is important right now. And... Uh, I'm still torn. I kind of want parts too. I guess we'll do this for now. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your yeah, we're not taking you out. Okay, everybody else is a nine. I feel like we need to swap someone out. Well, first things first is I'm taking the Panther. I'm going to take pop shots from a distance. You can have the Jenner and get killed. And I think, I think I like you. I think I want to switch out you and put in our new uh, lieutenant. Is it Bowles? I think it's Bowles. That's what we're gonna call him. Yeah, we are way under tonnage. There's nothing I can do about it though. We'll go with speed. Hopefully, we can uh, fight our way through this. to pillage. Our employer wants to destroy enemy assets and raid for supplies. Whoa. Okay, we're getting lit up already. Oh, are we getting friends? Are we getting help? Oh, hallelujah. Tell me that is on our side. Yes, I mean... Oh, he went back in. What is he doing? No, our guy. Look, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's going to hurt. He's out of jump jet juice. Good thing they don't have fall damage for the AI. Okay, well, at least we got a full team of relatively quick mechs. Although, somehow I took damage right off the bat. I don't know how. I don't know what... Was it a turret that shot me? We got one over there. So no matter where we go, we've got objectives to take. All right, so everybody form up on me. Hopefully our buddies will stick with us. What are you shooting at? Now, I'm not running any mods as far as I know that affects the AI. That might be something for a later date. I wasn't really sure how well my machine would be able to handle running the uh, yet another mech lab suite. So I was kind of worried about trying to do too much. You know, if my channel gets successful in the future, which, you know, I'm not doing horrible bad, but I'm not getting paid at all for for anything. You know, I'm not making any monetization. So until I do, um, you know, everything's coming out of my pocket to pay for parts and stuff. So 
I have to... Oh, that's not good. I have to basically, you know, do all the money myself, which is fine. But it limits how quick I can, you know, do things. Yeah, I like the PPC a little better. At least feel like I have... Ow. I wish I had a laser, though. Ow. How are we doing? I think we're doing okay. But yeah, it limits how, how much stuff I can run. You know, my computer's not a slouch, but it's definitely not as fast as, you know, you would like. I had enough trouble running vanilla MechWarrior that, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a concern. But we'll see how it goes. If it still runs good and, uh, you know, we can add more mods, we will at some point. Alright, so one down. I'm taking some damage, but not super bad. Oh wait, yeah we have. How did we... How did we lose the Jenner already? Probably my horrible shooting? Or did, did we have teammates that hit it, or what? Surely the Irby didn't punch it with an AC-20. That would figure. All right, well, it's just me and the spider now. We are not doing so hot. Trying to hit everything that comes up. All right, are you guys there? So did we just lose our new pilot? Like, did, did our new pilot die? Like, I didn't see. Now why does that shoot so low? I got him. Detect that. Ooh, a heavy. What is up with the mechs they're sending? Is this part of the mod? Or not the mechs, but the vehicles. I feel like this is way harder than it normally is. We gotta get a medium mech as quick as we can. Alright. I'm not fast enough to run. I'm not a quick mech at all. I'm more of a medium mech. Now, I don't have extra armor or health for the uh, turrets or anything. I didn't turn that up. Because I knew... I knew I might have trouble with it. All right, we got. Hey, there they are. I right, gotta get out of there. Get out. And I cannot hit. They're down. All right, one left. The problem with losing mechs early is uh, I gotta buy engines for them. So we might bring ourselves down to no money. I mean, I knew we were way under tonnage, but it kind of sucks. Because I'm cruising along at 64. I swear, I thought a panther was faster than this. I thought panthers were like 70, 80. I mean, I know they are a little bit heavier. I think they are a medium mech or the very edge of lights, but... Yeah, that Jenner had no chance. There's just no armor, and the AI kind of swarmed us a little bit. Ooh, I hit him. That's a shock. Didn't there, though. Got him. All right, so let's go get this one, guys. How many did we lose? Because I feel like there's one... Okay. I've still got our buddies, we just have one on our team. I'll have to find out what happened to our pilot. Thankfully we have another pilot that's injured that we can back him up with. You know, we've still got one more healthy one. I think first order of business is I gotta get a medium mech. At least to replace the, uh, the Locust. We might even sell the Locust. It may not be worth spending that money.
cruising real slow. Do they fire when I fire? Is that the way it works? No? Uh -huh. hmm, that was weird. Okay. Well, we're about in range. I'm guessing that's what I gotta destroy. But I think I'm way out of range. I'm hoping it's just a couple vehicles and nothing else. I'm already red and in the center torso. I don't want to take any more damage. Your target is mine now. Well, let's see you get him then. Our spider who is uh, not too bad injured. You can see him clipping through the ground though as he runs. That's kind of funny. Alright, that is a problem. Tracking your target. That is a problem. Yeah, we gotta take out that... Gotta take out that weapon. Because that AC is bad news. That vehicle's not better either. Oh, don't turn on me. How am I not hitting that? Okay, we gotta take care of you. How are you not dead? All right, this is bad. I am crit. All right, he's gone. I'm taking the turrets because if they sneeze on me, I'm dead. Okay, his big le weapon's gone. Finish him off. Yeah, how are we doing? I'm going to go ahead and destroy this. Let's hide behind the rock. <laughs> I feel so underpowered compared to my last playthrough. And I'm pretty sure the spider has lost an arm. Go after the guy, what's up? There. That's down. And he's just got a small laser, but... I need armor. Yeah, I gotta back off. There he is. Okay. Finally. Target neutralized. Let's get out of here. All target buildings have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Head to the Mort location. We're out of here. I think when I turned around, they hit me in the back, and that was a lot of damage. We are definitely not crushing anything at this point. Uh, what is shooting? I'm not even going to fight it. Alright, I lied. I'm trying to get to the target. Ooh, I hit it again. I'm not pushing my luck. Are you kidding me? I was in the... That shouldn't count. That counted. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I was in the pickup zone. I know he cored me, but come on. Well, we can take two pieces of that. Uh, and then there's the engine, too. And then I guess an, we can't take an AC, so what do we take? I mean, we can take an SRM, too. That better not have counted. It did. That is ridiculous. All right, well... We're, we're in bad shape. We're in really bad shape. So what do we do from here? I mean, I've got two battle mechs completely out of commission. Basically, no, I've got three out of commission, not two. What do we do here? Well, the first thing first is we've got to repair you. All right, at least it was cheap. Let's actually, let's move. We can't afford to stay here. Let's go to the closest one. All right, I'm frustrated because they hit me and we were already in the safe zone being picked up. I know in war there is no force fields or anything, but basically the game screwed me by not instantly ending the mission. Like I can't, I don't think it counts when I kill mechs after the window is over. So even though it shows me being destroyed, I sh it shouldn't count. It is a game. 
Okay, so we're going to have to figure out what to do with you. We don't have a choice. We're going to have to repair these two. And we have, like, nothing. I mean, I could sell the... Can we sell parts? Because if I can sell the two parts I salvaged for some money, that would help. So first off, I guess let's just repair the Mac. No engine installed. That's fine. So we're going to have to buy one. All right. Oh, man. Look at all that. So let's do a repair. Repair all. We need a 245. Do we need a 245, though? Can we get away with a smaller one? Because I'd rather go slower. Does it? Okay, projected max speed 97. Do we really need that? I don't think we need that faster one. I think I'd rather go lower. Okay, that's three tons. Oh, that's nine tons. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's the gyro weight. Okay. So we had a 245. Yeah, okay. So we had a 245. That's 12 tons. So if we could go like this... Can we put that in? Can we buy that one? That would that would give us three tons. That would give us three and a half. Let's go. And we're still, I mean, that's still 97. I think we go with that. Let's look at our engines here. There we go, 210. Okay, so that gives us four tons to work with. So we can armor the torso and the arms. And yeah, I think this is what we want to do. So now we go max armor. We still got all of our weapons. I think we do. Now we're looking... Okay, now we're looking better. Okay, so I feel better. We probably could have gone up and got a different core for this, but I'll take what we've got. Is there any other parts that we can... We don't own them, but is there any other things we can take? A battle fist. What all this stuff? Sensors improved. I don't think that's really important. What about... Heat sinks. How's our cooling? Our weapon heat is 2.59. Alpha heat's 11. Cooling. So we can do 39 plus 8. So we would we could alpha multiple times and be fine. So we really don't need that. I do like all the extra stats. It would be wonderful to put some better weapons in this thing. But we are max armor now, so that's good. I feel like I need to put more stuff in it, though. I guess I could put the jump jets back on. We have them. Let's do that. Let's uh, see which one would be the jump jets. That's cooling. Is that mobility? Yeah, there you go. So what if we put your jump jets back on? That'll at least get us closer. Yeah, then we're just a little under. And we can work on you later. I mean, it, it technically, I think, can have... It says one of two on the center torso. Can I put another missile somewhere? I think we go with this, though. I can't start work because missing one or more heat sinks. Oh, so I have to have one for the engine. Oh, okay. Good to know. So we'll put one in, and I guess we'll put it right here. Not enough free slots. Because we went down in size. So what if we get rid of this jump jet? All right. Missing one or more heat sinks. So what if we go like that and yeah I know we're over tonnage but we're only over by a little bit and I can drop a little off the legs maybe a couple points off the head or one you know just kind of spread it around a little maybe really hate to drop any there can we afford to drop one more point off these I think we can well you know we could probably do let's do that there you go that's not so bad at least we're fully armored now, so we won't get sneezed on and die. I mean, it's still really bad. And we are slower, but we are more maneuverable with our jump jets. I mean, we could remove those and then do something else, but I, I think this will work. The problem is 29 days. Okay, so the Jenner's taken care of. The Panther, I don't think it really needs a lot. I think it just needs the... we got to repair the center. Okay, and we had a 140. So we had a really slow engine. Um, and we're... Are we over tonnage? I don't get that. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to buy an engine for this, I guess. Let's do... Uh, What was it? A 180? That's seven tons. I don't know how we fit that in there. What is making us so heavy? Because we repaired everything, but we're not max armor or anything. Oh, wait, wait, it was like a 105, wasn't it? It was really slow. Uh, it wasn't that slow, right? Let me let me go back real quick. Yeah, let's revert. So what were we running? 140. But that's showing us over tonnage. Is that because of the the quirks of the of the thing? I mean, if I try to put that back in, is it going to complain? Because uh, they don't have a 140. They've got a 155. That stinks. So we go with something either heavier, 55, or we go with a 105, but we are dog slow. <laughs> oh, I can't win. I mean, if we went with something bigger, then we really have to strip stuff down. And we don't have any weapons other than the uh, SRMs. That's it. I mean, we could drop some jump jets. This puts 8.5 in. That puts us way over. So how does that work? What are our quirks that make it possible it's like I don't I don't need the jump jets this thing's too slow to really use them a lot so two's fine I'm fine with putting the ammo down here how did we so if I repair all we have three tons how do we have room for an engine is this one of those situations where it's all screwed up from the beginning is it it's not the PPC though. I don't I don't get how Oh, we have a ton of heat sinks. Why do we have so many heat sinks? That's weird. Okay, so let's do that. Uh if we do this, it's five and a half tons. That puts us a little okay, we can do this. We'll buy you, because that's all we have available right now. We have to go with that. And then I can put one of these here. Okay, let's max armor. All right, good there. We're missing two more heat sinks. So there's a minimum amount of heat sinks you have to run. That's interesting. Or is that just warning you that we are we're hot? That could be that. All right, so if we put one here. Okay, so we're still under tonnage. So everything's looking good now. Dropping the jump jets probably helped. Uh, I can't put any more weapons on it, so I think we'll just fill it up with heat sinks. Put another couple of these on here. And we are at full maxed armor, which is really nice. The jump jets are cool, and I can use them in the future, but um, I don't think I need to jump that high. AMS would be amazing, but I don't think we're going to have a, the ability to use AMS right now. Um, so I think we're going to have to go like this. This isn't great, but it's something. Now this says we can hold more uh, energy weapons. Do I dare drop the PPC and try to run like two mediums or something? I don't think so. This is going to take forever too. Okay, so there goes all of our money, but we at least have some armored mechs now. At least these two. The Locust, I don't know what to do with the Locust. Uh, I think the best thing we can do is maybe we can sell some stuff. What do we got? Um... Maybe, do we have to go to the milk mech market? Can we sell parts? That's the question I have. I don't think we can. And the locust is worth nothing. But I, I feel better. We are really, really low on money. So we're probably going to just start taking money like crazy. Because uh, it doesn't look like we can... I could get one of those. Can I buy a part for that? Oh, I can sell... Okay, good. So I can sell it. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better. So how much do we get for that? Oh, we get so much. What if we did both parts? <laughs> so nothing, really. And what if we sell you? That's that's a little better. Okay, so good to know. Um, I think we're going to have to sell... We're going to have to sell this one. We don't have enough to assemble it. It takes three parts. So we'll do like this. 
Okay, so that's the that's the end of I think of our first episode. We are not doing well, but uh, I'll keep working on it and hopefully we'll get there. We are in dire straits currently. We have almost no money, so we definitely need to. I think we're going to start taking lots and lots of money and no salvage just for a little while because the sale of the parts are not really worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.